Hello, my techie and non so techy friends. My name is Dan Duran from Rhino Cybersecurity, and today I'm going to show you how to install OpenVAS on your Kali Linux. So stay with me and let's get right into it. Of course, if you like my content, make sure you subscribe and you press on that little bell down below so you get notifications as soon as videos are out. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to power up my Kali Linux. I have a fresh installation of Kali Linux 2021.3 on my virtual box. So let's get this started. Okay, now we're going to power up our terminal. There we go. Make sure you run this on sudo su or else you're going to get problems when updating your Kali Linux. Yeah, 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 I understand. Kali. There you go. Let me clear this. Okay, so now Let's make sure that we are up to date. So app dash get update and app get install. All right, perfect. Everything is installed, clear. And now let's get installing OpenVAS. So for that, I'm going to call app get install open VAS. Yes, I would like to download. Let me just open this a little more so you can see. And now we wait for a couple of minutes. So I'm just going to fast forward this video a little bit. And I'll see you in a bit. Perfect. So once uh, OpenBass is installed, now you have to do the setup. So you just type in VGM setup. And now it's going to start all the services and set up OpenBass for you. There are a couple of things that I want you to be aware of. The first one is that the setup is going to take a long time. I'm talking about 15, 20, 30 minutes. So go get a coffee and relax and then come back to your computer. The second thing is that even though the setup is done and you can actually see the interface, the OpenBAS interface, there are still feeds that are being sent from Greenbone to your OpenBAS application. So you might not be able to run your application properly. You might see errors. So make sure that you wait. And I'm going to show you how to check the logs to make sure that you're receiving those feeds and everything is good. So now I'm going to fast forward this video until we are able to get the setup done. All right, so we are done. Now, there's a couple of things that I want you to pay attention to. So the first one is I'm going to power up a another terminal here and I'm going to do just go to my desktop. So desktop. Right. And nano uh, pass or VGM GVM pass dot TXT open that up and I want you to copy this information because it's important. So the first one is the UDID, right? So shift control C to copy and then shift control V to paste. So that's the first one. And the second one would be your password, right? So this is your password here. So copy, paste and uh, let me just give it a name. Open glass. 
info, right? So this is the UDID and the user is going to be always admin and your password is going to be this. Okay, so control X and then yes to save. There you go. Exit. Okay, now we have done that. I'm gonna clear this up and let's do a couple of things. So the first one is going to be to check that everything went well. So for that, you can type in GVM check setup boom okay it seems like your gvm 21 installation is okay so, however let's look uh at the logs okay so for that you have to go to your var so let's say cd var log gvm all right and from here i want you to do a tail so tail minus f gv md which is the service dot log and we'll see how that's going you see this it says no scap database found no cert database found right so a couple of things that might be happening in here the first one is that it's not reading the feed or the feed is taking a long time to um, get to your computer so let's open up let's say a vertical terminal here on the side and sudo su right Let's clear this up and we might want to make sure that the feeds are working. So let's bring them in. So the first thing that you should do is actually uh, get the first feed, which is the GVMD data, right? So that's the default configuration for OpenBAS. So you type in green bone for the data. Uh, feed sync make sure that it's green perfect and then the type will be your GV MD all in caps underscore data all in caps so let's get that perfect so now you're receiving the data let's do the single the second one there, you, there is the log too. Okay, so it's updating from the feed. So the second thing is, second sync that you have to do is the scap. Right? So scap data, and let's get that as well. Perfect. All right, so we're receiving that data as well. And the last one that you want to get is the cert data. So arrow up to get the information from the terminal and then type in cert. And let's start getting that data in. Amazing. Okay, so now I'm just gonna do an H top. Oops. Command not found. <laughs> this is a fresh installation of Kali, so I don't have a stop. So let's just install it very quick. All right, perfect. Do, 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 do. That should take no time to stay install H stop. I like H stop. Perfect. Let's clear this and let's run H stop just to make sure that we are let's see this getting that data yeah you see that the first there you go gvm is working very hard all right so it's just a matter of waiting now 
to get those uh, feats. And as soon as we get the feats, then I'll, let's power up Open Bass and let's see if it's working. Okay, I'm back. So I waited for about 15 more minutes, 15, 20 minutes. So now let's check out if Open Bass is actually working. So what I'm going to do now is go into this and I'm going to control C just to kill that H top there. Then now I'm going to clear this up and let's start Open Bass. So for that, you type in GVM dash start and let's get going oh it's already running so okay let's power up your browser all right so here is your browser and type in 127.0.0.1 column 9392 93, 92. so let's see this uh what is going on all right the first thing is we're going to kill GVM, GVM, stop. Okay, clear and GVM, start again. All right, perfect. Yeah, I just had to stop it and then start it again. So advance, accept the risk. There's no HTTPS, that's why. And here we're going to put admin and remember this. So let me clear this and nano GVM pass. CXT and here it is. Copy this. Shift Control X. Sorry, Shift Control C. And then Control V. Now, yeah, sure, I can save this. Now, let's see the moment of truth. So, let's see here. I'm going to launch another terminal. And I'm going to do an IEF config just to get my INET. Okay. Let's see. There it is. 10.0.2.15. Right. So let's scan this address. All right. So you go to scans. Let's start a scan. New, new task, test, and then here at scan targets, click on create a new target. I'm just going to name it test and I'm going to put my, my address, save. Then you go down here and this are the scanners. I think it's going to work. Yeah, let's give it a try. Okay, save. Yeah, there you go. And now it's scanning. So now you see that it's requested and we wait for a few minutes to see how, if there are any issues with my Linux application. And we're done. That's how you install and you run OpenVAS on your Kali system. So make sure you comment or if you have any questions, use the comment section below and I'll be addressing those questions and your comments as soon as you post them make sure you follow me and you subscribe to my channel i hope you like this content and i'll see you next time stay safe stay secure